Hello everyone, Maspatio here and welcome to another video tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will be creating simple character using skin modifier. So this is going to be as easy as creating stickman figure here and apply a skin modifier in it. Um, something like so. Okay. And you can use this as it is or you can refine this later on to add a more detail or another refinement uh, or also you can use this for a base mesh for sculpting later on and also with the skin modifier you can apply direct armature in it <coughs> by simply pressing the create armature on the skin modifier just click that then it's automatically generate bone for your character and when we go to the post mode here this character is ready to be animated oops as simple as that okay let's start our tutorial first let me set up the scene real quick and also enable the screencast display okay what we're going to do first is create a simple plane by hitting shift a and create plane let me turn on the solid view setting here okay with this planes selected you're going to go to this object mode and choose edit mode and with this all vertices selected uh, all vertices selected if not just Choose this vertex mode here and hit A to deselect all and A again to select all of these vertices. Okay. Okay. Now uh, with all of these vertices selected, just hit Alt M and choose at center to merge all of these vertices to the center like so. Okay. Now we all we have to do is extrude this by pressing E and then Z to lock the extrude on the Z axis like so. Okay. Now we're going to create a stickman figure from this. And because we want to mirror this thing on the other side, we need a mirror modifier for this. So go to this wrench icon here, choose <coughs> just add modifier and then choose mirror modifier. Okay. Now go to the front view by <coughs> pressing 1 and then hit 5. Go to the orthographic view. And with this top vertice selected, hit E to make an extrude. So we are creating a shoulder for this character here and then E again to make an extrude for the arm like so and E again okay oops G to grab okay next we are going to select our bottom vertice here and hit E to make an extrude like so and extrude again to create the leg extrude again something like so and then go to the side view by pressing 3 and hit E to make an extrude for the foot okay now with that all set we can now go to the add modifier on the wrench icon here click that and we're going to choose skin modifier now we have something like this okay and we're going to need to fix this or refine this go to the front view and probably bring this a little bit further the shoulder like so and the arm also by simply select the vertice and press G to grab and drag this around like so okay um, and also for the 
body part we need another segment here is simply by press uh, selecting the, or shift select these two vertices the top and the bottom vertices here by holding shift and right click to select all of these vertices on the body and hit w and choose subdivide okay now you can arrange this like so go to the side view bring this a little bit forward like so and also select this one and the top one and hit w and subdivide again go to the side view and position this like so and maybe the leg also position this like so and the elbow position this like so now it doesn't look much right now and we're going to fix this a little bit more okay uh, with one of this vertice selected and is the hip vertice here you can hit ctrl a to scale this down something like so also the knee hit ctrl a to scale this down something like so and also for the foot hit ctrl a and scale this down like so okay and also as for the arm hit ctrl a scale this down and scale this down also and this one okay now for this you can scale this up something like so and probably scale this along the y axis by pressing ctrl a then press y something like so okay and probably bring this down a little bit and scale this up by pressing ctrl a maybe the leg i'm going to ctrl a and scale this up a little bit okay next we're going to create the head for this character by pressing one go to the front view but first let me fix this fix this real quick oops okay now for the head we're going to select this upper vertice here hit e to make an extrude and z to lock that on the z axis something like so a little bit and then hit ctrl a to scale this down bring this a little bit and then hit e to make another extrude and z maybe scale this up a little bit also scale this up a little bit go to the side view select the top vertice there and bring this a little bit forward like so and also extrude this like that hit ctrl a to scale this up and then hit e to make another extrude and scale this up a little bit also hit e again to make another extrude and ctrl a to scale this down a little bit and probably scale this up a little bit something like so now we have our first simple character hit tab to exit the edit mode and go to the front view and position this something like so and hit tab again to enter the edit mode now from here you can add uh, another mesh not a mesh uh, another polygon there by simply add um, subdivision surface modifier something like that then refine this a little bit more by scaling this up probably or probably scale this up a little bit and probably add the hand 
and also you can add a finger by simply extrude this five times three times or whatever you like okay, scale this down maybe scale this down a little bit scale this down and extra this a little bit more something like so extra this Okay, you can refine this. So you can always refine this uh, later on. But for now, um, you can use this for the base mesh for your sculpting, or you can use this as it is for the character. And you can also uh, create armature for this and ready to be animated. But before you create um, armature on this, uh, exit the edit mode by pressing tab or by choosing this on object mode here and apply the mirror modifier so that when we create the armature is not being mirrored uh, to the other side. I hope it makes sense if not so uh, okay let's apply the mirror modifier from here hit apply then we can create armature on the skin modifier here just click that and the armature is created on this character okay go to the post mode and voila we all done here of course you can always refine this character a little bit more and okay that's it for now hopefully this is useful and thank you for watching see you again in another video hopefully bye bye